इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन डिजाइन राइट सब्जेक्ट इज इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन डिजाइन It is not a theoretical paper, so that much difference will be there. And uh, till now you were studying about electrical machines, right? Uh, starting from your uh, second year or third year, you were you have studied uh, transformer, DC machine, right? AC machine, right? So, what are the types of AC machine? that you have studied you have studied synchronous machine then induction machine right synchronous and induction machine also so dc and ac machines you have studied then after ac machine uh, yeah this is what you have studied uh, till now in your machines right you have performed lab experiments also some, uh, on all the uh, equipments but mostly you have studied the theoretical concepts you have studied the theoretical concepts right like how a dc machine work or a how a transformer is working or, or uh, what what are what are the uh, even constructional details you have studied what are the things inside it and uh, what is armature reaction what is the effect of it uh, uh, what is the difference between a synchronous and induction machine what is rotating magnetic field these all things you are aware of with your uh, understanding till now or uh, you have been you were studying sorry you have studied the concepts of electrical machines till now through several semesters right like uh, if i am asking uh, can anybody tell me uh, uh, vishnu goben vishnu goben Vishnu Bhavan, boyo, atna se to boyo. Vishnu Bhavan, Vishnu Bhavan ka boyo na hale. Vafa. Hello sir. Uh, what are the Hello. types of uh, what are the types of transformers? Step up and step down. step up and step down transformer yeah that is one type another type step up step down transformer is there then power transformer and distribution transformer are there right yes. different types are there. okay we been a dc machine ka type under we been we been okay CDs and shunt shunt machines are there, right? So similarly, we have in AC machine, you have synchronous and induction machine. Oh. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. What is the difference between synchronous and induction machine? We've been. Hmm. Synchronous and induction machine. What are the difference? Synchronous. Ah, uh, induction machine. What are the main difference? Ah, eh. ഒരു വ്യത്യാസവും ഇല്ലേ ഓക്കെ സായൂജ് സായൂജ് ആ Ajmal Ajmal yeah what is the difference yes, between synchronous and induction machine uh, sir synchronous field synchronous yeah. field matter and synchronous field and what about induction machine almost uh, synchronous field adut varu pesha varikum less than synchronous field you can say right or greater than but not at synchronous field right so that is synchronous and induction machine yes.
that you can say because it is quite outdated and most of the most of its functionalities can be met with ac machine so in reality we are using ac machine in more places like now uh, a time will come when you will be seeing dc machine only uh, in in your electrical laboratories and not uh, not in practice such a day is coming so uh, nowadays this uh, and transformer that's so uh, the transference happens in the power system network between two levels of voltages you know so these all these things are important and out of uh, so i am i already told you that most of the time in practice we are using what synchronous and induction machine and in our electrical load in our elect, all overall electrical power system network if you see the most of the, for the energy generated from the source it is uh, met by the load right so that electrical load out of that around 90% of the load 90% of the load is what electrical drives only it is electrical drives only means any uh, it, it is all about rotating parts uh, rotating machinery whether it is in a factory or whether it's in your home also uh, like uh, the fan you use or the mixer you use mixer grinder washing machine all these things are what they are uh, all uh, rotating uh, electrical machinery uh, rotating machines and uh, they all need mechanical output uh, out output that we use but inside we have an electrical motor attached to it so 90% of the loads whether uh, of of the whole power system network if you take most of it most of it is it, most of the power, uh, the load is coming from what electrical drives or from rotating electrical machines and even in that also nowadays this induction machine induction machines are becoming more and more common and they are the fav- they are the favorite because they are easy to manufacture uh, and they, their capabilities are improving with the help of power electronic converters as well okay so that is the scenario that is going on and you have studied all uh, somewhat all the theoretical concepts of uh, these machines now we are adding one more term to this so you have studied what electrical machine right you have studied electrical machine and now you are going to study the uh, so- something more uh, practical which is design right? so that is the subject electrical machine design so that is what you are going to learn and uh, in this uh, subject uh, in the syllabus it is quite easier uh, in the first module in the first module you will be learning some general principle we will be uh, learning some general principles of uh, let me say of design okay you will understand what is meant by what is meant by design and what is the difference uh, uh, of it with the, the our theoretical aspects of an electrical machine so general principles of design uh that is one thing you will be learning then another main part uh, since we are going to uh, study only uh, th- this uh, three four types of machine only one is transformer then the dc machine then ac machine which includes synchronous and induction machine right so these are the things that you are going to learn so for that for understanding that we are uh, you should know uh, the one thing common is what there is a magnetic circuit behind it so we are going to learn about this magnetic circuit okay or magnetic calculation or the, the whole magnetism be, behind the machine and its design uh, perspective we will learn in this module that is what module 1 does in module 2 we are going to learn about the design of transformers we are going to learn about the design of transformer then in module 3 as i already told you then you will learn about the design of dc machines then in module 4 you will learn about the design of what synchronous machine synchronous machine in module 5 it is about the design of what the induction machine okay so every module assigned for one particular machine you can say induction machine and the last module module 6 it is a bit different where you will be understanding it is about understanding the fundamentals of what computer aided design and finite element method okay computer aided design and finite element method 
means uh, a bit more advanced uh, whatever we are using practically nowadays uh, this cad and finite element method cad and finite element method means you are designing the machine uh, using computer you can say you are uh, you are involving uh, the uh, computer in the design of machine and it becomes much easier because it's, it's such a complex problem designing a machine is such a complex problem than understanding uh, what i can say what is armature reaction or uh, or the fundamental laws behind it that you have understood so doing that with the help of computer uh, also we will see as the uh, in module 6 okay at last even uh, you have an assignment kind of a thing to uh, to design a practical machine to de- to make a complete design to design a machine is your uh, is one thing that you are going to do at the end of the uh, at the end of this uh, the subject okay when when the subject will be over you should be able to dis- you should be able to understand and design a particular machine yeah. so that is the concept of this uh, subject and this is the syllabus and textbook your syllabus is preferring only one textbook which is a course in a course in uh, electrical machine design a course in electrical machine design a course in electrical machine design by ak sani ak shani so that is a textbook that you are going to learn uh, this is better i think uh, and even problems uh, or theory all the things are quite nicely given then there are some other textbooks by desh pande and all so uh, you can see your syllabus and it is a it is quite vast it's vast subject and uh, theory uh, more than the, the, uh, theory as well as the design aspects and problems also are involved so uh, don't lag behind the lectures like you should be knowing what you are uh, uh, you should be up, uh, updated with every lecture uh, or otherwise it will be a, a problem for you at the end okay and you have two design blue papers in this semester one is esd electrical system design and this is electrical machine design so i think you are able to understand in this uh, flow uh, flow of semesters this is where you are uh, in, in getting ended up with like first you learned about the fundamentals then you learned about how the machine works and now you are going to design or you are going to ma- go going into the manufacture of machines okay till now we were only trying to understand how machine works now you are really going to make a machine so that is what you are going to learn are you saying it is sound coming out okay so that's about it now we will get into module 1 okay module 1 so as i said module 1 is about general principles and let us see what is meant by design and all okay there are different definitions on design okay design means what uh, like when uh, what how do how can you def- uh, like if you take engineering and uh, science there is a major difference science is like understanding things right but engineering engineering is not only science but it is also an art you can say okay it's an art and sometimes it work it even works on i tell i am telling that it is an art because sometimes it even work on intuitions also okay so uh, if you uh, if you have seen a cross section of an electrical machine you how Uh, it is quite quite like an art right like if it is uh, like an art uh, uh, because uh, you ha- uh, uh, sometimes it is not lo- you cannot be that logical but uh, uh, and uh, this, the practical aspects always involves your own intuition to work with so uh, and engineering is basically an art uh, art uh, why how why uh, how uh, Uh, 
artistically decide where, where it comes from, right? And to make a house, uh, to, to make a house uh, to withstand whatever uh, I can say, the stress and uh, the, the the stress of the environmental conditions and all, you need engineering. But uh, so uh, you need engineering and science to do that part. So similarly. Uh, in design means design uh, means we are making the realization of theoretical concepts we are making the realization of when uh, you are going to build a uh, house you will make a plan for that then from uh, uh, what i can say from the uh, sand or, or or whatever resources you have, you mold it and you shape it and you make it beautiful also and make a house. So that's a whole process of manufacture. Frankly, from from uh, real mud, you are making a house uh, through lot of process, uh, through lot of understanding of science as well as there is art also involved. So that this whole procedure is what we call as uh, the design. Okay. And when we uh, come to mesh, uh, come to electric uh, machines or the engineering design, when we come to engineering design, it is not only about making making it happen. It is like to perf uh, there we involve like we have to perform a task. That is what a machine does. But we have to make sure that uh, we we have to make sure of three things. I, I can say we have to make sure that the cost is lesser. Right, that is one consideration we always have. The cost is lesser, then it is durable. Means it is going to stand for a long period of time. That is, it's, it is durable. And the third part, the third part is that it also should perform the task. It should all. It, it should all. It should, it should also perform the task. Right. So these are the main considerations of engineering design. Means perform the task with uh, with lesser cost, but it should be durable. Okay. So that is the uh, that is about uh, about the engineering design, and that is how we move from one design to another. When we find out some better design, we go for it. If I take an example uh, of like an insulator, if I take an example of an insulator, uh, uh, you are familiar with like a, a insulator or the pin insulator that that you might be seeing uh, on the road. Like if you are uh, when you are going from the uh, like you through the uh, the uh, Tamarishiri uh, guard roads, then you will uh, see that on the sides you might have seen this tower and insulators. I have seen, so I I hope you also might have seen. So there, the what materials they are using? There they are using the ceramic insulating materials. Okay, you might have seen uh, this insulator structure, right? Like this. Okay. This uh, insulating structure, there they are using ceramic insulator and we were using glass and ceramic insulating materials uh, before. Okay, and now we are in a transformation into polymeric insulating materials. Okay, this glass and ceramic material, they, are, they, they perform the task. It performed the task very nicely. It is having good uh, breakdown strength and it performed the task nicely only. But there is a problem. Uh, when it comes to polymer insulating material, uh, it will uh, uh, it's the, it, this, this also perform the task, but at the same time, it is uh, co cost is comparatively lesser. And handling the insulator, like uh, you have, you, you can consider handling rubber and uh, glass or ceramic, which will be more uh, having, which will be having more weight. Definitely, glass and ceramic are having more weight compared to a polymeric insulator with the uh, rubber or something. So. Uh, that way, your polymer insulator may be one uh, huge pin insulator for a 11, 11 kV or uh, let me say 66 kV line. Uh, that can be handled by a single person in case of a polymeric insulator material. While a glass or ceramic insulating material for higher uh, higher uh, insulating uh, uh, higher voltage side voltages, it might need more person to handle it. Okay, or a, or even a crane may, might be needed to handle that insulator. So that way. We go for better uh, uh, insulation and better design of the insulator. Okay, so that is about the design engineering. That is how engineering design is developing. And in design, the major considerations, the major considerations in design, major consideration in design are three things. One is what the cost. 
okay second one is durability as i said told you and third one is about performance you can say okay so uh, how it is performing so these are the three criteria that we look for and uh, like uh, for uh, getting a task if you ask me why you are going for induction machine not dc machine Am I audible? Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hello. Shami, me. Where are you now? Where are you? Hasna, Azhar, where are you? ഇലക്ട്രിക്കൽ മെഷീൻ ഡിസൈൻ ഓക്കെ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇഫ് യു ടേക്ക് എ ഡി സി മെഷീൻ and induction machine dc machine induction machine so induction machine is better that is why we are moving on to induction machine and not dc machine so uh, if if uh, if somebody asks me for a particular work which one i should prefer i will always prefer which one induction machine only so that is how this cost and durability comes at the same time it should perform also okay in induction machine before some time we were uh, using dc machine only why it was hard to control okay it was hard to control that is a problem so even though dc machine is having this commutation issue or the size issue still we were going for uh, dc machine because it, it was hard to control induction machine now we have what we have different uh, controllers using power electronic switches and all like uh, the the uh, frequency control and all that is why index even uh, variable variable drives also can be made with the induction machine okay and i think you are you have studied some part of in, in drives and all so that is how, how why we are going for induction machine and not dc machine so that is one major consideration even in design also like induction machine design if you see it is quite easier mainly when it is when it is a scalar gate induction motor then uh, in construction wise it is very easy that is why this motors are more more used nowadays and but at the same time uh, when you are uh, thinking about making an equipment like uh, machine or transformer uh, making an equipment then two things are there one is about performance like uh, if you are going for the excellent performance okay if you are going for excellent performance like uh, you are making a volt meter let me say okay you are making a volt meter or, or some kind of meter and yeah, you want to uh, want it to be very uh, good meter like uh, it is uh, uh, its accuracy is so good its precision is so good that, that such a machine if you have to use Uh, if you have to make it then what then in manufacture the quality of materials the quality of materials matters right so quality of material should be very high then what will happen the cost also will increase so one thing you have to keep in mind that whenever you are thinking about a, a better machine or what i can say a better uh, man, uh, product then at the same time your cost also is increased so you have to satisfy both what cost also you have to satisfy at the same time what performance also so what you will come to an optimization like if you have a, a, are increasing your performance and if uh, at the same time what will happen if uh, once you are increasing the performance then what will happen the cost also is going to be increased so if they if i draw the cheapness then what there will be an optimum where your device is going to be cheaper and at the same time it is giving you a satis- satisfactory performance so that is what a design engineer or mainly in engineering design we look for and these are the three major consideration cost durability and what the performance okay
Okay, and this is about this is about uh, uh, let us let, this is true about induction machine. Okay, let us say that it's true about induction machine that you want to uh, make it cheaper. Okay, you uh, means it is durable. Like it is going to work for let me say twenty years. Okay, then and uh, then what? Then it is enough. Then we don't have to uh, 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 think about much of the quality to some extent. But when you are making a high synchronous generator, high end synchronous generator that is going to be used in used for in a generating station right or a big power transformer or a big power transformer then there you don't have to uh, think much about what there you don't have to think much about the cost uh, or you have to be particular about the performance if you are designing a transformer which is going to be used for 30 40 years and it should be in use also why once uh, there is some transformer outage then it it, it is a problem for the power system network Right, a lot of things are involved, and uh, it will again uh, increase the cost of operation only. So, because of that, when you are uh, make, uh, thinking about big machines, when you are making about big machines like synchronous generator or a big power transformer, then you don't care much about the capital cost or the co uh, or the overall cost of it. But we care more about the performance. So, depending on where we are uh, applying our design. That uh, that also decides uh, what kind of what kind of a perspective we have to follow. Okay, so uh, that is about that is the main part of our design. Design uh, is really about uh, making uh, making our theoretical concepts uh, 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 or realizing our the theoretical concepts. You can say, like as, as I said, we have a uh, everybody of us might be having a. We point about how our house needs to be. So we make a plan, and using engineering uh, and science, we make the house the way we want. Right. So similarly, uh, uh, we know that uh, when uh, we apply a uh, magnetic field uh, for into a, a conductor carrying current, then it will then it will move, and there is a force involved. So if you have a couple, like if you have two conductors uh, or a coil with you, and it is placed in a magnetic field, it can make a rotation. That much is our theoretical understanding, right? That much is our theoretical understanding, and your simple picture of uh, a theory involving one coil and two magnets placed, and uh, you have your rotation involved or generation of EMF is quite different when you are going to see a, uh, the cross section of a uh, induction a motor or a synchronous generator. So that uh, that uh, part is what is dealt with engineering design. So uh, now we will see uh, some of the, okay, okay. So time is up, right?